Hi guys, it's Heidi from Dream in Color Creations coming to you all the way from South Africa. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel and I'm hoping that you would will subscribe at the end of this video and share and like and share and like and yeah, let's see how quickly we can get my subscriptions up. Um, guys, uh, just uh, I've had a few requests to have a page through on this journal um, I'm gonna do a quick page through if you have any questions or on how I did some stuff or what materials I used you are more than welcome to message me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can um, and reply as quick as possible great I'm quickly gonna start it's just a quick run through guys I don't have a lot of recording time um, the book is basically, the, the cover is made from hardboard or cardboard from a box. Um, I've decoupaged on it. It's got some lace on. It's got some flowers which I've made myself with chiffon. It's got some seam binding and it's got lots of bling and jewelry. I don't know if you can see that properly. Okay. On the side I've just used a clasp which is usually used for um, jewelry like bracelets and necklaces this is also a pendant that I've actually broken in half and just stuck over the hole on the insides I've just used printables guys through the whole book there is basically printables that I've used off Pinterest I don't have specific names I'm sorry it's my first journal so uh, please forgive me for that, but I'll be sure to mention the kits and everything I use with my next journals I make. Um, I'm just going to have a quick run through. I've used a lot of lace, a lot of bling, a lot of bead products, um, journal cards, uh, different fabrics and also different ribbons and beautiful buttons. Okay, there's just a pocket. And then of course I've also used some stamping um, you'll see I've stamped it on yet it's very light it looks almost almost like a like a watermark okay just gonna page through quickly just quick info this little black thingy here is actually an old earring which I've bent into a paper clip shape and then there's just some bling and some old chiffon some more lace some pockets I've also done a lot of um, sewing on my sewing machine on a lot of the pages and then all the pages that I've put in except for the the, the, the plastic oh, not the plastic the the um, paper bags that I've actually put in as pages um, I've used mostly coffee dyed paper and also um, a very old book um, and I'll show you a little bit later um, this book is so old the pages actually just started wrinkling or, or cracking when you touch them so I had to decoupage most of them um, just two little envelopes and a pocket and there's an embellishment with some net there's some flowers it's actually called the protea which is the South African national flower I've actually got one here which I've dried um, it is such a beautiful flower guys this one okay it's basically lost most of its color but they come in the most beautiful pinks and 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 um, green colors so I'm definitely going to do more projects with them just a little pocket with a piece of material I've made two of these bookmarks which is just all my scrappy little materials that I've sewn onto a piece of cardboard that actually had an old pattern on it was actually off cuts from what I've done in the book with some beads and beautiful buttons some cardboard at the top um, and then some seam binding lace different fabrics little bow with some organza ribbon um, I also love teacups and 
teapots and especially the antique ones it is so beautiful um just the paper i told you about i've actually in some pages you'll see that i've actually made it stronger with some decorative tape just to make sure that it doesn't tear where i've actually bound the the signatures that's just an old brooch with some bling and a piece of woven material some lace I'm not sure if this is lace or if it's just like a trimming there's some lace and there's some cards and most of the cards in here either have ribbon or it has little clasps with little charms on them I've used a lot of stamping this beautiful it's almost the size of ribbon but it is um, actually little pearls. Pretty pretty. Also, see, I have a lot of vellum in here. And this one has a lace pattern. It's so pretty. Here's an old serviette holder that I just took apart and cut off a piece um, with an, a pearl. And then, of course, some more bling. More stamping. A little notebook for more journaling that I've made. And here's a little corner belly band, if I can call it that. Just a little bag. Some journal cards in this little pouch little pocket yeah you can see how the pages actually crack from the age but I think it gives it character it really looks pretty um, just another lace and bag that I've actually just decorated with some lace and stitching two small paper brown bags that I've actually sewed together and made into little pockets and then it's also a tuck spot for something else at the bottom this is a measuring tape that used to belong to my grandmother um, it broke with time and I thought I might as well do something useful with it and look how pretty that looks Just a fold or a folder um, not really clued up with all the terms guys so help me out um, I did put a layer of acrylic gel medium on here just to make it stronger and then of course a little bit of washi tape and this little crocheted flower it's just some more stamping on copy paper lace and a ribbon I think that's a satin ribbon this is also some of the coffee paper the ones that look darker is actually it was it was blue paper and after I colored it um, it actually came out in a darker brown a little folder that I made and some notes Guys, as you can see, there's a lot of place here to journal. Um, I will be putting in a hard cover at the back or, or to put in anywhere that you write. So it's actually easy for you to write on. These pretty little buttons, floral buttons. And this is almost like a, a net. Um, I know there's another word for it right now, but I can't think of it. A little belly button, a side belly button, can I call it that? A tiny little flower. These are actually little buttons that I just cut off the ends and just stuck it on there with glue. On some more of that lace vellum. Some lace on copyright paper. A little envelope I made. And inside also 
pages of coffee dyed paper. Just two little journal cards, and I've actually made this little paper clip, guys. It's so easy to do. It's just two little uh, cabochons that are just stuck together over the um, paper clip, and look how pretty. And it's so easy to do. It's just a pin with a little piece of lace. Two little dwelly pockets that I've painted. Some more coffee colored paper. Another tag with a clasp and some little uh, charms and a little bit of bling. This piece of paper I actually folded and then I sewed around it just to round it off a bit. There's another one of those pretty little floral buttons. This is a very old doily, also belonged to my grandmother. With some seam binding that I put onto this little charm here. And I stuck it on so it actually makes a little pocket. Just a pretty little card with a butterfly on and I put some glitter over the sides just to round it off a bit. Guys, I was playing around and I, <laughs> these are, I suppose, two pockets. But I can't seem to get anything in there because the corners tear the pages. So maybe you can use it for uh, little tiny dried bushes of flowers, I thought. That could be a nice idea. Um... Here's some more coffee dyed paper with some beautiful lace. Some more vellum. This has got a rose um, pattern on it. I don't know if you can see it there. It's very, very light. Another little shopping bag or gift bag. I've got these beautiful trimmings from a friend of mine. And then another journal card with a clasp and three little charms. Another journaling card. This is also vellum. It's got beautiful little birds on them. Another stamp. And a glazing bag. have made these little well these little envelopes I got obviously off Pinterest and when I folded them they actually didn't want to stay closed so I just put a little metal embellishment on just to keep the weight but they still didn't want to stay closed so I decided I'm going to make tiny little paper clips as you can see there and I just put them on there There we go. Another pocket with some lace. Another little pocket. Some journaling cards or journaling paper. And here is another little split pin with a pearl in. And then in here is another pocket. Just two pretty butterflies. Um, no specific function, just for the beauty of it. Some more lace on the paper. Guys also like to color or or paint my stamps to give it a bit of a more natural look. Um, I think this came out quite pretty. And there's another background stamp. Yeah, I've made another paper clip 
these tiny little butterflies I got from a craft shop close to us. Another journaling card. Oops. Just pop that in there. Yeah, is a piece of material that I had. It's got some cross stitch cross pardon me, cross stitching on it. Um what a beautiful little charm, little blingy charm, and I just put some more ribbon on there, and the paper, of course, is rounded off with some stitching. Another pretty one, two of these little cards, um, it's got like a pearly, pearly effect to it, I don't know if you can see it, there we go. And then I just stuck these two little butterflies on um, and I put a little bit of glitter on there just to give it that little bit of a bling look. And then there's, of course, another one in there. It's just some tracing paper. Here I have another button with some chiffon. And here is some dragonflies. Also stamps that I've actually painted. <clears throat> yeah, it's just some more vellum. Nice little space here to either put a photograph or to do some journaling with a larger cabochon that I just stuck over this ribbon. There's another beautiful, beautiful print, um, which I also decoupaged on it. The reason I've decoupaged so much is just because this paper is so, so, so fragile and I don't want it to break more than what it has. Um, just another little booklet I made from the coffee dyed paper. Just a doily I painted, some beautiful uh, little milk jar and a teapot and some scones. Um, this is a little special fold, I don't really know what you call it. Two birdies that I painted, also stamps. Here's some more netting um, with a pretty bling charm that I just stuck on the side. This is one doily that I actually cut and this one actually tore. And I thought to myself, I'm not going to let it waste. And I just cut that part off here and I just put some of my special glitter and that is what it came out like and it looks actually very 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 pretty some more lace on the brown paper bag here's some more decorative tape isn't that gorgeous um the only thing i found with this is that uh, it's not like washi tape it's sticky but not that sticky and it actually comes off um so you do have to make it stronger with a double-sided tape or some glue. Here's another one of my bookmarks, also with a little charm on, a little butterfly charm and some bling. Another pocket, a little card I made, and there's another pocket in there. It's just another embellishment that I got from an old garment and I just stuck it on here and you can stick something in there. Some more stamping. 
This actually came from my sewing machine's box when I bought it, um, where they tested the sewing machine and I thought it would make quite a nice decoration in my junk journal. Some more bird vellum. And then the bottom part of the one of the, the, the paper bags with some more glitter and stamping. Some more vellum. <coughs> Pardon me. Some more vellum with some beautiful lace. Here's another stamp where I actually uh, just blingified it with some of my liquid pearls. And I just spread it out with a toothpick and I think it came out quite cool. It's got lovely texture on there. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. And here's another uh, paper clip I made. Very, very simple. Some bling and some beads. And then piece of paper that I cut into an envelope shape just to fold over here and of course most of my envelopes and little cards and everything I distressed with some uh, Ranger distressed inks some more beautiful cups as you can see, I love this one. It's so beautiful. On a printout, a, a music sheet, which I also made older looking by distressing it. I just love these cards. Aren't they just beautiful? Some more old pattern paper. Some zigzag ribbon. Some bling. More pattern paper, and yeah, I've actually made a pocket from a big piece of. Now you'll notice that the lace that I've used, some of the lace that I've used, I've used that part, I've used that part, I've used that part, and I've used that part. So I took a big piece of lace like this. Sorry, guys, you can't see. I used that part, that part, that part, and that part. So I actually took one piece of lace and I just cut it up nicely. To make different styles. <coughs> Here's a little card I made just to go into this little pocket. Another little gift bag, just some more journaling cards, more stitching, more journaling cards, and another pocket tracing paper from one of my sketchbooks and here there's another doily also coffee dyed and here I have a belly band also made from that same lace that I just showed you and a beautiful button and this time it's also different colors this is pink and almost like a canary yellow type of color some more stitching some more stamping just love these little mason jar stamps. They're just gorgeous. I saw this tutorial on YouTube one day and I wanted to try it out. So it might not be exactly perfect, but I think it came out very cute. It's called the waterfall, I think. Um, lots of space for journaling or possibly photographs. Here's another beautiful butterfly, and it can also be used as a tuck spot, this part here, top and bottom. Okay. And then, of course, you can use these parts to do some journaling in. Just a piece of lace that I put in some organza ribbon. Another envelope I made, just cut out from scrapbooking paper, and it's actually embossed. Isn't that beautiful? And then I also distressed it around with the, um, some of the distressing I did with some, 
Look at this pincher. It's the permanent ink one. Sorry guys, my terms aren't that good yet, but we'll get there. And then a little paper clip I made with little flowers on. Just another cute little stamp. Doily. This pocket is this side, so you can either use it that side or that side because it is tracing paper. And here is, sorry for the scratching there guys, it's my little dash I'm trying to get in. And I've closed my door while I'm recording. Just another little pocket. Some coffee colour paper. Another little paper clip I made guys. Once again, I used a... Uh, Cabochon. This time I put it in a little pendant and then I just stuck it on with hot glue but then I put some glitter on the hot glue at the back. And then obviously the paper clip. Another little stamp that I've painted just with my normal watercolour pencils and my little water brush. Pretty vintage little button and some more chiffon and ribbon. Just some pictures of the sewing equipment. Another little special fold. And um, this actually happened by accident, guys. I didn't realize that the um, the cotton was finished in my machine. And it made the most beautiful pattern on this paper. So I just left it like that. Okay. There's some more music sheets. And this is just a little bit of lace. This one I actually did hand by hand. I stitched by hand. Again, a little picture of, or a little stamp of the a little bike with the flowers in. Yeah, just a little tiny little bookmark again. And then here I've taken three little folders. It was a printable. Uh, sorry guys, I didn't get the name. I do apologize. But from now on I promise I'll make a note of where I get these prints from. But most of my prints I do get off Pinterest. Because um, I have never been actually part of much more than what I am today um, but I've joined a couple of groups now which I'll tell you about in a couple of seconds just another pretty little charm and here's a pin and some ribbon guys these little pins here once again saw on YouTube a lady had it the one day and she said she got it from a fish and tackle shop and obviously she's not from this country and I thought, oh my word, where am I going to find this? And the very first fish and tackle shop I walk into, I find it. And it's so, so, so affordable. So I would suggest you get things like this because they are so handy. Another little glazing bag. Some more venom and that is the book finish, guys. Just want to thank you for your time thank you for letting me introduce myself and my first junk journal <coughs> sorry i would also like to thank sheila gingrich sorry sheila and sherry um zamir i'm not 100 sure if i pronounced your names correctly but thank you guys thank you for for your friendship and thank you for your time and your patience with me and um, thank you just for your inspiration um, the groups that you guys have made are absolutely wonderful friendly people all crafters and guys we are from the same breed and we just enjoy each other's work um, I would also like to mention that um, I have ordered a 
beautiful boho uh, bundle, fabric bundle from Sheila Gingrich. Um, um, unfortunately, our postal services are a bit slow as they had a huge strike for a couple of months. So there is a big, big back backlog. I'm just hoping for it to arrive soon because I would like to use it with my next journal where I'm going to use um, the Boho Boho Dreams uh, Journal 2 uh, uh, digital, uh, digital Kit from um, Studio 28. Um, uh, Sherry, um, she designs the most beautiful um, kits. Guys, you must really go and have a look. Um, if you look at the subscription below, I've left her um, a link to her Etsy store as well as her group. Um, go and have a look, guys. It's really, really lovely. And then also, I've also left a link at the bottom below for um, Sheila's uh, YouTube channel as well as her Facebook group, which is called Boho Daydreams. And then just lastly, guys, once again, my channel's name is, and my business name, is uh, Dream in Color Creations. And um, if you would, guys, please like this video and share, and please subscribe at the bottom, uh, at the button below. And yes, yeah, share, 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 and let's see how we, far we get. Um, I will be posting about once a week. Um, and hopefully the next journal you'll see is the one that I'm going to be doing with the kit from Create, uh, from Studio 28, sorry. Thanks guys, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.